Hey guys, it's Tommy TM here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another park review. Today's park is called Jurassic World. Uh, it was uploaded to the PS4 Frontier Workshop by Thomas Freaks and the description is enjoy the Jurassic World two days before the outbreak of Paddock 11. Uh, so yeah, I mean looking from the outset we can see in the distance there we've got some dinosaurs to look at. Um, lots of different buildings and theming so uh, yeah really excited to have a look at this one. So we shall uh, start as always down at the park entrance. Right, two days left before Paddock 11 outbreak. Right, I like the fencing on this bridge. That looks really, uh, that looks really Jurassic Park style. That you know, it does really match the uh, match the film. And these doors, this, this whole entrance, to be fair, is you know does look. I want to say realistic, but obviously Jurassic Park isn't realistic. Um, but you know, you know what I mean. It looks really, uh, looks really as close as you're going to get to the actual films. Ooh, park build by Thomas Freaks, and he's on YouTube. So if you search that on YouTube, you'll be able to uh, find him on there. And there is other people involved as well. So uh, De Bobby sixty three. And there is a fireworks show at 6.30, so at the end of uh, the end of our little tour round, I shall switch it to 6.30 if I remember <laughs> to uh, have a look at the uh, have a look at the fireworks. So I mean, the first thing we notice when we come in is that there is a monorail going around the entire park, which is a fairly sizable park, but I imagine there is stations along the way. Um, so yeah, we shall have a look at that as we go round. We've got obviously we've got the dinosaur mascots, a few fountains and vending machines and shops. So left we have Velociraptor, carnivores, and Mozanarium. Right. Let's go have a look down here. We're in here. Prehistoric history. Ah, this is cool. This is like a it's like a museum. Oh, I really rate this. I think this is. I think this looks awesome. A dinosaur egg. Triceratops horn. Yeah, I, I really rate this. I think this looks great. And the fact that guests are coming in here as well. Obviously, there's no, there's no actual attraction in here for them, um, other than the vending machines if they were hunting for one. Um, but the fact they actually come in here uh, is quite. You know, it does make it look quite nice as well. So you've got this raptor here. Some more dinosaurs here. The spitting water, I think. There we are. Right, so that was uh, that was the little museum we've got going off. I do like that. I think that looks really good. Uh, Mozanarium. So this is this is a ride. What ride is this? It is a water coaster. Woo, those those stats are a little insane. Your G-force, your ride exceeds G-force limits. 12, <laughs> 6 and 12, blimey. I mean, there's still people queuing up for it, so it's clearly uh, clearly not putting them off. Um, but yeah, if they reach that in real life, you would probably be dead. Um, but we'll, we'll ride it anyway and have a look. I imagine it'll be quite fun to, uh, to go on on here. So uh, yeah, let's hop in and, and see what it's like.
And here we go, I believe that just takes you back to the entrance, that uh, that last little path, or well, sorry, little section of track around there. Um, yeah, it just takes you back around here. I really like the the idea he's gone for is that you like you're slowly let into the uh, you know into the cage and then that's when the ride occurs. Obviously, you've got this really steep um, climb. the The part where the G force kicks in is going to be on this little bend here as you go back up to go down so quick and then go straight back up and then the track dips in again and then on the way down here I think it does the same thing. That is where the G force is going to be mainly. Um, as well as a few tight turns around here, but I've, the 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 idea of it and the, you know and the way it looks, I mean, this dinosaur looks amazing as well. I think is brilliant. I think the layout could be changed a little bit to make it more rideable. Um, but you know, as I say, I, I appreciate the the idea he's gone for, and I think it looks and works really well. It's just the uh, it's just controlling that speed really. I mean, if we have a look at uh, if we go on these stats here. Uh, Results, uh, heat maps, and um, we'll look at the actually, this is vertical um, our previous one. Yeah, so in this little divot here is where a lot of it is, and at this bend here you're going quite quick. So yeah, that that's where that's where your peak areas are. If there was, you know, if the bends were bigger so like if you went down and then didn't come up until a bit later on that would probably help um, but I mean like I say it looks it looks great it looks great and the idea is great it is it's just literally controlling that speed and then it'd be a perfect coaster but uh, yeah no really rate that I do like I do like a good water coaster right so where do we get to that's the museum that's the mausoleum the laboratory Nice little uh, scientific flat ride in here. Everyone's working on computers. Oh, what does that say? Carnivores or carnivores? Carnivores? Or I think. Okay, yeah, the carnivores might be spelt wrong, or that might be in how you say it in another in another language. But either way, there's carnivores around here. Velociraptor. This is a nice little jungle themed um, flat ride with a little velociraptor in the corner there. And another one. It's looking at looking at his eggs. <laughs> he looks far too kind to be a velociraptor he does. Um, I assume this is the monorail station. It's just going Yeah, that's the monorail station, so that's where everyone's coming out of. There's a, uh, there's a bit of litter down here, so we may need to get a handyman in. A load of vending machines, and then what do we have here? We have the T Rex Kingdom. Now, this looks like a popular ride. So, let's go. Oh, it's a stand up coaster. We'll hop on it and then we'll have a look at the stats afterwards. There we go. I thought that was a really good coaster. To be fair, I thought I thought the layout was good. The uh, the scenery was good. I do like this T Rex here. Um, there's a couple of areas that needed a bit more smoothening out. That twist there was a little bit sharp. 
that could probably be uh, smoothened out a little bit. But overall, I thought that was great. I bet the stats were a lot nice on that one. Yeah, they are. You see, he's not far off getting all green there. Um, and the results, the G-Force is a lot more controlled there. So yeah, this that is that is a fantastic little layout and a good you know good design, etc. Again, it's the slow release into the enclosure, and then a slow, you know, you, you go through the cage at the end here and get out of it. So uh, yeah, I do like this. I do like this. The theme he's going for and the sort of the high walls, etc. Really, uh, really good style. So let's let's go through here. We have a tunnel through the back, and the tunnel leads. To, well, there's another monorail station. Paddock Eleven. So this is so Paddock Eleven outbreak was in two days or something. It said. So we will we'll have a look at it. What is it? What kind of coaster is it? It's a wooden coaster. Right. Let's uh, let's have a look at the stats. Very good excitement rate. To be fair, they're very good stats overall. Um, let's just have a look at the results. A little bit high on the G-Force, but not massively. Not as much as the first one. But uh, yeah, no, excited to uh, to give this one a test run. Let's uh, let's hop in and enjoy Paddock Eleven. Well, that was uh, that was certainly it, an extremely fast wooden coaster. Um, it's very well wrapped up inside this little enclosure here. The, um, I mean, I imagine the G-force is high because of how sort of sharp some of these turds are. I mean, to go from that steep to that, you know, to that flat that quickly, um, and then some of these twists and turns around there, like that one, for example, um, that would probably make it go high. I mean, I, I enjoyed it, and I'd, again, the, the dinosaurs just look brilliant. I love, you know, they're even breathing smoke as well. So, yeah, I absolutely love the design. I love the layout of these coasters. Probably just need to be a tad more controlled, but, you know, that is the only criticism I'm kind of looking at. Um, <laughs> his little handmade crane here as well, which I think is good. He's used, he's used fencing to do this, which is... I've, I've not seen someone do that before. I think that looks, that looks really, uh, really smart. He's got a little fencing up there. And then he's using the scaffolding poles down there. But um, no, yeah, I do, uh, I do really rate that. As I say, it's just controlling the speed and making the turns a little bit bigger to allow yourself time for the coaster to turn back in. Um, right, and then we'll go down into this tunnel. We have a play park. Now that looks really good. That's really nice. That's all handmade as well. So uh, yeah, really, uh, really nice little little dinosaur here. I rate that because again, the, the guests aren't going to use it. It is just there to look at, but you know that that's that's what it's all about. Into it? it's uh, it's the aesthetics. Petting zoo. Not got not got any animals in here, but I imagine these are the animals to pet. These uh, herbivores just sat out there in the uh, in the sand. We've got a row of vending machines. A load of tents, an aircraft hangar, 
It's, he's really gone in with the buildings. You know, it's, it's incredibly, uh, incredibly detailed with that. Some toilets there. Jurassic ride. It's going to be a, a boat ride. I won't, I won't go on this because these can sometimes take take a while, and I don't need to be sat here for like five minutes um, watching it all. But we'll go over the route of it. Let's just go down through these rocks here. Loads of water explosions to the edge of the park. And then, oh, got stuck in the water there. And then we go up this way. See some more dinosaurs. Again, the way you use them shapes on all of them, they just look, yeah, they just look fantastic. Especially these. They, these are definitely my favourite ones. These three. I mean, how many? 288 pieces it's taken him to build that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, really, really do like that. So we'll just kind of finish up going off this water ride. You go around, more, more dinosaurs there. Some Stegosaurus, if that's my, if my dinosaur knowledge from when I was about six is still with me. Um, and then again, we've got gates to go back in. And then we go back to the station. Right. And I think, in terms of attractions, I think that is about it. Obviously, we've got the monorail going all the way around the park. Some more dinosaur there. Oh, we've got a flat ride here. That's a nice little design there. Just sat on the edge. But, uh, yeah, no, I think that's uh, I think that's about it for attractions. Um, John Hammond brought his Jurassic Park 1993. Well, that ends not so good. 2015, Simon Mizrani opens a safe and better park. Welcome to Jurassic World. But uh, yeah, I think the only other thing now is to change it to... Uh, let's just change it to 6.30pm. And hopefully there's a fireworks show. Time's ticking away in the corner, let's just speed it up. Is it on? Um, oh, yep, yeah. there we go, first firework. I think that's the fireworks done. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't the most spectacular fireworks show, but again, I, I I do like the fireworks in this game. I think they all look. Um, I think the fireworks always look always look good. Um, where are they uh, where are they setting off from? They're setting off from somewhere down here, aren't they? Unless they're sat on the hill behind here somewhere. Right, we're coming off from the building. Um, but uh, yeah. The, like with the fireworks show, obviously they they're very difficult to do. I've I've yet to I've yet to properly have a go at one. Um, something I would like to look out for. But uh, yeah, no. Overall, I think that park looks fantastic. Um, I love I love the style. I mean, obviously he is basing it off of the film. Um, but the style in terms of all the rides are in, in different enclosures, and it's all about going into the enclosure, and then there's a ride, and then you leave the enclosure. 
Um, the dinosaurs look fantastic. The buildings, I mean, this is, I think this is a hotel, is it? Let's just have a look. Hotel, yeah. So it's got a little hotel in the middle as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the, the whole style of it is, you know, is superb. And I love the little things that kind of don't necessarily add anything for the guests. So for example, this museum, I think is brilliant. I, th I love the layout of it. I love the little exhibits and, and stuff and the fact that the guests do actually come in there. I love the play park is built down here. Um, and you've got the tents. Oh, we've got here Ju Jurassic World. You know, th there's so many little details that don't necessarily give anything for the guests, but for you as the player, it definitely adds something. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Please, uh, please let me know in the comments below what you thought. And uh, I'll leave the details uh, below for the creator, Thomas Freaks. Um, and like I say, he's on YouTube, so if you want to go and search for him, you can do. Um, but other than that, I shall uh, see you in the next episodes. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.